I have to start off first to say happy birthday to you. Oh, thanks. What? <laughs> yes. Not today. Oh. Just a, a couple. And happy belated to you, man. But, but yeah, I'd say. Well, you're near <laughs> my mom's birthday. And that's I talked to you one year. My mom's is August 15th. Oh, and that's why I know yours is the 12th. My brother's is August 15th. That's right. Yeah. And so uh, I just, I knew that, and then I saw, so there you go. And we're celebrating in Toronto. And we're celebrating with a great film, which, how long have you two known each other? Because I swear it's like you two have known each other. Watching this film, like you grew up together. <laughs> Seriously. I wish. Yeah. Where'd you grow up? You were in San Diego. Montana. And Montana. You would have liked it there. Where? San Diego? No, Montana. Yeah, I would have. Yeah. But did you all know each other like before working together on this film? Really? Yeah, we do. We, well, we met. We had met. We met, before, but that yeah. doesn't count as knowing. There was a spark. <laughs> I was pregnant. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where do, you, where, where do you go, though, mentally? I know you're both great actors uh, and actresses, <laughs> but where do you go mentally to deliver a performance like this? I'm just curious. So am I. Where'd you go? <laughs> Um, nice to have you back. She's dodging the question. <laughs> <laughs> it, you know, I, it sounds like a deflection, but they it, the script does so much for you, and and Kenny does so, the director does so much, and if you have to do something like this, you want to be with people you trust, and then so you can sort of lose yourself. Uh, it's really a luxury to be able to kind of just show up at work and be kind of a mess, and know that the people are going to just guide you and, and help you to the right place, and so. Um, and Kenny is just, he's really, really brilliant. He's not just a good writer, but he really knows how to direct actors and, and kind of help everyone get to where they need to be. And so all you got to do is kind of turn the engine on. And if you, if you have the, if you have the, I'm not sure where this metaphor is going. If you have the, um, engine power, you'll, Momentum. you'll get there. <laughs> um, so yeah, every day is a different day in trying to get there. But what did you, I'm just curious, what did you thought when you first read the script? Michelle, like when you first read this story and, and what, what were your first thoughts? I just thought I'm doing this. I mean, I've like, I'm, I'm committed to this and I start working on it now. <laughs> okay, well let's talk about the filming because actually it was one of my questions. Was, was it cold? Because I'm in a theater and it's like 80 degrees, 75 degrees, and I'm looking at the screen that looked like it was freezing for you guys. Was it, was it as cold as it looked? Some days it was cold and some days we were faking it. I don't even remember the... You remember the temperature? I don't remember the external elements at all. I just right. remember the... Yeah. I mean, this winter, one of the things that Kenny did was he wrote into the story a sort of the, like, the, the seasonal change had some real relevance to it. You know, it's a, um, not to be too, like, stupid about it, but it's like these people, sort of some people thawing out and this, and, and he had all these little descriptions in the movie about the, the, um, the bay, sort of the ice so lowly thawing and cracking and, and, and um, we happened, we got really lucky and it was the snowiest winter in the history of Massachusetts, we had 100 inches of snow and it was bitterly cold. Um, but we just couldn't get the movie together in time, so we, we showed up there and it was like springtime, more or less, and we had a few days that were super cold, but uh, we missed all of now the snow. I, yeah, now I remember sweating in those winter coats. Yeah, yeah there's, there's a few forgot, days where we're like bundled up and they're heaping the fake snow onto yeah. the sidewalk. <laughs> but don't think about that. All right, final question for you both. Uh, I know we're not going to get Dr. Oz and anybody, but what about people that see this film, and, and or Dr. Phil even, and see this film and can relate to it? What would you be your message to them? I never really have a message. I just... To you? Um, no. Because uh, people can relate to this story. I mean, it, it happens in everybody's family. Yeah. It really does. Yeah, that's true. I think there is something that he, Kenny does in his writing. He did it and You Can Count on Me, and then in his last movie, Margaret, and here, where it's, it's no matter... If you didn't have to live in those places or have those kinds of things happen to you in your life, but it still resonates for some reason. He sort of taps into a kind of common human experience thing that everyone seems to, uh, that he can make everyone laugh and he can make people cry and, and um, uh, no matter you know who, who you are or where you come from.